Kanani here. So this video we will uh, see about these uh, authentication failures. So if authentication failures happened in wireless clients during a .NX authentication or a PSK authentication, so how will you the frame times will look into it? So I have captured your frames for the failure type. So when the failure occurs, what are the sequences? What are the steps it goes through the clients? So you learn about it. So here, this is about the .NX authentication failure. So I have made promptly wrong passwords while authentication. So I have given promptly the wrong uh, passwords here. So I have captured the frames here. So the probe response, so you know, the beacon frames will be sent by the APs, then the probe request by the client, then probe response from the APs. So then uh, open authentication will happen. So here you will see the open authentication between the client and the AP here. So after open authentication, this association request and response will go through. So after that, it will go through the .NX authentication. So EPC protocol used for that uh, authentication here so here the ap is requesting for the identity then the client is responding with the identity here then then after that the ap checks the authentication whether it's given the wrong right credentials for the authentication to goes through so if once that failure happens so you will see the failure here so here i will in this frame you see the failure reason here it failed then uh, whatever the, the recent code also it has given why it failed here so here you will see the request here sent by this aps then the response sent so since it's doing the leap authentication, so you're able to see the identity here. So most of these enterprise networks, uh, the leap authentication will not be used here. So most of them will use the PEEP or uh, EPEEP or uh, EPTLS, they'll be used there. So here I configured to purposely to show the leap also. So the username will be shown here. So it shows the warning about this handshake between this peer challenge uh, sent by this uh, APs then the peer response here password it's saying then the failure has happened so you will see these transactions so when you do the dot on x authentication the failure after this failure only you will see the uopl packets are transferred for that four-way handshake will happen after that I will cover it in the different video here. So now we will see the ESK authentication failure here. So you see here, this uh, authentication happens between the client and the AP. Then the association request sent by the client, the association response sent by the APs here. Then, uh, then after that, it will straight away go to this EOPL, the four-way uh, EOPL packet. Then the four-way handshake will happen for the PSK. So here, so this is the probe response from the APs here. Then the authentication request and authentication happens here. Then after that, the association request by the client, then the association response by the APs here. Then after that, that the four-way handshake had ha happening there. So when you see the message, only two messages instead of four messages between the EOPL four-way handshake. So you'll know that, that maybe the failure is due to this uh, wrong key here. So I purposely typed the wrong key so that a failure has happened here.
So I had given the purposely wrong passwords. So the authentication failure has happened here. So you will not be proceeded to the uh, successful four way handshake here. This is how this uh, uh, pre shared key authentication works. So from that, you can understand that the failure is due to this wrong password. Due to that, it's in the client is not able to authenticate. So I will cover the successful authentication of the PSK and .onox and other video series. Thanks for watching.